Hey all, Triceratops Jr. here, and welcome to the most controversial video on the internet. That is a tier list of all of the playable Borderlands characters. I got some steamy opinions here. You might agree, you might not agree. Don't be afraid to let me know in the comments. I want to see what y'all think, but let's just freaking get into this. So I'm going to go in, like, order of the way they're put in here, which I'm assuming is it's alphabetical. So right off the bat, we got Amara. Um, I'm going to set her here for now. So Amara is a siren. And something you're probably going to come to see here is I'm not the hugest fan of sirens. I think they're okay. I think they can have some fun abilities, but they're not my favorite. Amara, for what it's worth, has... Probably the most fun siren abilities across the games. Second, probably being Maya with phase lock, but I think she's probably got the most fun ones. And so that's going to be sort of like a, a sparing factor for her. I'm not going to rank her lower down in the D section. I'm going to put her right here. I'm going to leave her right where she was in the B section. She's okay. Not my favorite, not my least favorite. A very good starting point. Next up, we have Athena. Now, Athena, setting her here again for convenience sake. Athena's awesome. Have you ever wanted to be Captain America? Have you ever wanted to charge at your enemies and whack them in the face with a sword? That's what Athena can do. She's freaking baller. She was the first character I beat. Borderlands the pre-sequel with, and I played a melee build. That might actually be my favorite melee build in all of Borderlands as well. So, because of that, she's going up here. S tier. One of the best. Primo top tier. Okay. Um, Axton. My boy Axton is a... He's a pretty typical character in a game like this. He has a turret. Same as Roland. Same as pretty, pretty much... I mean, a lot of characters summon turrets, although some of them are different. But Roland and Axton are very, very similar. For what it's worth, Axton's turret does get rocket pods and slag, like, guns. Which can make it pretty strong at times. But, when you get to later game with him, he kind of falls off. During, like, Ultimate Vault Hunter mode in Borderlands 2, he just doesn't carry his own weight. His turret, you throw that thing out, it's dead immediately. And because of that, he's not getting an S tier. Or an A tier. I think it's going to go nice here in the middle next to Amara because he's a pretty standard character. He's just he's just your boy with a turret. Brick is an S rank. I'm just saying that right off the bat. Brick is an S rank. I kind I, you could see right now I'm, I like the melee builds at least for these two characters. But Brick, man, he's the funniest, most relatable vault hunter. And He's a freaking baller. He just runs around and punches people, man. He just wants to beat the crap out of people. And I respect that. S rank. Claptrap? Claptrap. Probably the most controversial character in Borderlands, the whole series. But as a playable character, which is how I'm going to rank them today... I'm going to put him... Well, his abilities are interesting in that he does have a lot more variations to his abilities because he has, like, Vault Hunter EXE, which is just random abilities. But a lot of his abilities are just copying other abilities. Like, he can be a gun zerker. And it's that sort of thing that makes me feel like he's not really that great of a character to play as. He has some interesting abilities when it comes to, like, playing co-op, and he has some good 
power up abilities for playing with friends, but other than that, he's not that useful. And he doesn't really have like a whole specified kind of shebang. So while he might be fun to play as because of the randomness, he's not that good. He's getting the C. The Doppelganger. The Doppelganger is a whack-ass class, okay? Like, probably one of the most overpowered builds in the pre-sequel. You play with his, um, doppel his Doppelganger clones and the badass versions of them, and money is power, and dude, dude just destroys. He can kill the final boss of the game without you having to touch the controller. That's how strong he is. And he's, I mean, he's funny. Because Handsome Jack is like, if I were ranking video game villains, Handsome Jack would be top tier, best in the business. But, as a playable character, he's not quite as good as the original Handsome Jack. But he's still a high tier, so I'm going A rank for him. Because he's a pretty cool dude. We got Flack. Flack the Beastmaster. Interesting new mechanics. I'll give him that. He's got a constant pet out. He can have a couple different builds. Pretty much the best one is Fade Away, but like, you didn't hear that from me. Um, he, he has some really, really strong builds. He's, he's pretty fun to play as. He, when you use his Fade Away ability, he's kind of similar to Zero, except I think he might be able to pack a bit more of a punch, maybe. I'd have to I'd have to look at the numbers, but he's a pretty strong guy. So, because of that, well, here, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna, like, big brain this thing. Go in between these bad boys. I'm, so, like, I think he's better than Amara and Axton. Is he as good as... Doppelganger? Maybe. Maybe. You know what? Yes. Yes, he is. He is a perfectly fine a rank tier, above average, and pretty cool. He has some fun abilities. Gage? Gage is my favorite Borderlands 2 character. Anarchy slaps. And she's all, I think she has some of the funniest dialogue lines. She I think Death Trap is a really fun ability. And I'm really I'm just really excited to see her again in the series. So S rank. Easy. S rank. Krieg. Krieg along with Zero might be my least played characters in Borderlands 2. It's not that I don't like them, it's just that I was never really drawn to them. So Krieg, I think, might be the memeiest character in the game because you literally light yourself on fire and run into people. Which is fun, it's cool, it's interesting, it's different. But, it's not good enough to like, boost him into the upper tiers, you know? He's a cool dude. He's pretty funny. He had, like, a really funny intro trailer back in the day. But I'm going to leave him at a B tier with his little buddies here because he just doesn't really do, do it for me, you know? Just don't do it. Okay, next up, Aurelia. I don't know if this is a controversial opinion or if people are going to agree with me, but... I kind of hate Aurelia. I hated her in the pre-sequel. I she's she's at least a little bit more interesting in Borderlands 3, but she's just not she's just not cool. I don't like her builds, even if some of them can get pretty strong with the crits. I just don't I just don't like her. D rank. The first D rank. Lilith more controversial opinions here. Out of all the sirens, she has my least favorite power. 
phase walking is not that cool. She doesn't really have much going for her in terms of the Borderlands 1 characters. And so, she just, she, especially when it comes to certain bosses, she fall be, falls behind greatly. So, I'm going to give her a C rank out of respect for the fact that she is a good character and she's pretty cool. But as a Vault Hunter playable character, not, a, not cool. Maya. Maya, Maya, Maya. Honestly, phase locking would be pretty cool as an ability. She's she's beneath she's like she's like beneath Amara, but above Lilith in terms of powers. Her builds are they're pretty cool, I guess. But she just doesn't like have the the zest to boost her up higher. I'm gonna leave her right where she is. On the B rank. Because that's what I think she deserves. Mordecai. Another character I love, but he's not my favorite to play as. He's... He... I don't know, something about his ability in the first game, throwing Bloodwing, just doesn't like... It's never really done much, you know? It doesn't... When you come to like the final boss in the game, he's... Bloodwing is pretty much worthless, in my opinion. It's better to just shoot at the boss at that point. So it's like, his ability doesn't give me anything. As a sniper, though, he is pretty cool. I think he's cooler than Lilith, for sure. But he's less cool than Gage, or the Doppelganger. So he's a B rank. You're going to see a lot of B ranks, probably, because... That's just, that's my middle tier, basically. Moe's. Moe's, Moe's, Moe's. Has a cool action skill. Iron Bear is pretty rad. Not gonna lie. But, in terms of power, especially since, like, some more recent buffs and debuffs have occurred, she's not as strong as other builds, I feel. Flack can just obliterate right now. Moe's, even with her like cool ass splash damage builds, can't pack the same punch as other characters. So I'm I'm leaving her in B rank as well. I think she's a really fun character to play and I like her style a lot, but she just doesn't pack the punch for me still. Nisha. Nisha is auto aim. She she gets Auto aim is her ability. And you can chain some pretty whack crits with that, but at the end of the day, her ability is literally just auto aim. C rank. It's not it's not that cool. <laughs> Roland. Mr. Turret Man 1.0. I think for the same reason as Axton, he's gonna get a B rank just because. A turret's not that great. Like, it can blast some enemies away. It can work as a form of protection. But it's just not quite as strong as other guns are, you know? Or other other characters are. And it's not quite as fun. I like... When I play a character, I like to have some sort of, like... Tactic, almost, to go with my action skill. But he doesn't have it. He just throws out a turret, and it shoots. So he's gonna, he's gonna be on rank at the B with Axton. Gunzerker. Salvador. He he was the first character I ever beat Borderlands 2 with, so there's a bit of a nostalgia factor there. I think Gunzerking is pretty fun. Who does like Who hasn't ever wanted to just like dual wield, you know? Be it swords, pistols, anything. Dual wielding is badass. And playing Salvador, you really like you feel the the energy of just like this is how badass it feels to dual wield guns and just go pew 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 so that's why he's gonna go up to the a rank because he's just he's super fun to play and he gives you exactly what you want from that kind of character oh wilhelm wilhelm 
I can't, I honestly like can't say that much about Wilhelm. His action skill, Wolf and Saint, are, they're basically a turret. But it's weird because there's three different ways you can build him. You could build into like a support build with Saint, a damage build with Wolf, or you build just a tree that's just for him, like cybernetically enhancing himself. But they don't really get the mesh together that well. So he doesn't really, in the long run, he doesn't really get that much, you know? Even if it is fun to play, like, I, whenever I play him, I always go the cybernetic enhancement route because I feel like it's the most fun. But he is, just isn't as interesting as other characters are, you know? So he's going to go down here, C ranked. <laughs> we have three pre-sequel characters in the C rank. So... <laughs> Zane. Zane Flynn. Flint? Is this a Flint or Flynn? My lord. Probably my favorite character in Borderlands 3. I like running really fast and just zooming through things as him. It's like hella fun. And if he's basically the Sonic of this game, honestly. He has the best character dialogue, for sure. Possibly out of like any characters other than Brick, maybe. He's just super fun. He zooms through everything. He just... He's a good old-fashioned Irish time, you know? So he's going up here in the S's. The S's. And last, but certainly not least, we got Zero. My boy Zero. Boar will obliterate people. Melee has a chance to obliterate people but are those two things enough to make him interesting I when I first saw the trailers for Borderlands 2 I wanted to play Zero but then like I tried him and I just didn't have a good time sniper build and melee build for him just weren't my shebang you know and so while Zero's not gonna get a zero but um, he's gonna stay right here in the B tier with the others. So, that is my ranking of all of the Borderlands playable characters. Let me know what you think. Let me know your opinions in the comments. Tell me how wrong I am. Tell me how right I am. I don't know, I could use a little bit of love sometimes. But, just let me know. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.